Hi friends, here's how easy it is to make anything look like real bronze with this easy bronze paint technique. Today I'm sharing this salvaged MDF tabletop that I've turned into a DIY faux bronze tray. The great thing about this fake bronze paint technique is that it will work on anything, plastic, ceramics, wood, glass, and more. So just let me get set up and I'll be right back. Let's start. Here's the fun Here is the tabletop I found curbside a few years back. I removed the three wood legs when I first brought it home. I have no idea where I put them, but I'm sure they'll turn up somewhere. These inexpensive tabletops are everywhere. I'm sure you've seen them. And it's made out of a quarter inch MDF and it measures 19 inches in circumference. To prep for the bronze finish, I started by removing the hardware that the three legs screwed into. Then I gave it a good white down with a damp sponge. My vision was to create a DIY bronze tray, so I started testing out handles for it. The hardware I ended up choosing were these gold half moon handles. I just love them. I've used them on a few dresser makeovers and they look spectacular. The only thing was is the finish wasn't appropriate for my bronze tray, but just hold on and I'll show you how I fix that up. The other issue I ran into was the screws that came with these handles, the hardware, were way too long for this quarter inch MDF board. So I took my Klein tool and these breakaway screws that were included with the handles and shorten them up. This Klein tool is so handy. It sells on Amazon for I believe 20 something dollars, but I can't tell you how much use I've gotten out of it. It comes with different size holes for different size screws. And all you do is you screw it in to the correct size hole, you adjust it to however long or short you want your screw to be, and then you just break it away and it cuts the screw perfectly. A little tip for when using this Klein tool is once you have cut the screw to size, make sure you screw it in a little bit more and then back it out. And this ensures that there's no sharp edges on the screws and it'll go into your hardware smoothly. To attach the hardware perfectly on either side, I measured the circumference of this board and then marked the middle. Then using my square ruler, I drew straight lines to quarter it. Here's a quick tip for finding the perfect place to drill your hardware holes. Take a piece of green painter's tape and apply it onto the back of your hardware. Then using a pencil, mark out where the holes are. Then measure where you want your hardware to be on your project and lay the tape down so the holes correspond. This will allow you to drill pilot holes in the exact right spot. I also used my hardware template that I bought from Amazon and that just works dreamy. It's so easy to measure where the hardware holes are. And once I drilled the pilot holes, then I went ahead and changed out my drill bit and screwed the actual holes for the screws to go into. Once I had the holes drilled and perfectly in place, it was time to install the new tray handles. And check this out, doesn't it look cute? Now for the fun part. To create a DIY faux finish, I started by using this metal primer. This is twofold. It allows the bronze paint that I'm going to be using to stick to the metal. It will also prevent the patina from eating through the metal. Now I didn't end up using the patina spray on this project, but it's still great for better adhesion. And I know these handles look ugly now, <laughs> but just wait until I fix them up. They will blend in perfectly. So now that I had my 
handles all primed up. It was time to start painting the bronze on. I use this bronze patina paint from Dixie Bell, which has actual metal in it. And I just started applying it with a quarter inch round brush. There's no right or wrong way to do this, so just have fun with it. As you can see, I'm painting in a variety of directions. And then using the tip of my brush, I'm pouncing it up and down as well. And this also creates some additional texture. I have to admit, I love faux paint techniques like this. They are so much fun to do. While the paint was still wet, I took a look at it and I thought, no, I think I want even a little more different style of texture into it. So I scrunchied up a shop towel and I just started dabbing that onto the wet paint as well. Once my first coat was 100% dry, I went ahead and did the exact same thing on my second coat of paint. And here's a close up of what it looked like after I was finished with the two coats of bronze paint. It already is starting to look pretty realistic. And you can't have one side bronze and the other side MDF. So I went ahead and did the exact same thing to the back of this tray. The next morning when the paint was all dry on the front and back, I flipped this DIY tray over and started using different products on the back side to see what looked most realistic for this bronze finish. I tried a gold metallic paint, a gold glaze, and then a few different colored waxes. To give me the most realistic bronze look, here's the combo I came up with. I started by using the gold shimmer glaze and I applied it in sections to the top of this DIY tray using the same quarter inch round brush that I used for the paint. Then I took a shop towel and wiped back all the excess and then just dabbed at it and check this out. Look at this shimmer that it creates. I went ahead and applied the gold shimmer on the second half of this tray and did the exact same technique with wiping it back and then just scrunching up and adding a little bit of texture to this glaze as well. Again, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. And believe me, if I can do this, you can do this. This is just a really fun faux technique. So I was getting excited about the way this tray was looking. It was looking awfully realistic to me. So I took out my heat gun, dried the glaze, and now it was time to move on to the wax. Using an inexpensive chip brush, I dabbed it into some black gilding wax. Then I started creating an antique patina on this brass tray. I pounce the chip brush up and down to create a patina, especially where it would be most used. So for instance, around the handles that I attached and around the edges. I also added some uh, of the black wax patina to the middle of the tray as well, but I mostly focused in and around the edging. I had a little gold gilding wax on hand as well, which I added, but honestly, it was not needed. Uh, if you don't have any gold gilding wax, it's really not gonna make that much difference to this bronze finish. I left the tray to dry and then I came back and I top coated everything with this gator hide top coat. Using a blue applicator sponge, I just dipped it into the top coat and then I wiped it onto the tray. Uh, but then I decided, you know what? This top coat doesn't even have to be applied perfectly smooth. It can also have some texture as well. So I gently started pouncing the blue applicator um, sponge onto the tray and really like 
like I said, the top coat doesn't even have to go on perfectly smooth because this just creates more texture for the light to bounce off of. So once my top coat had dried, oh my God, I was so impressed on how realistic this bronze DIY finish turned out. So check this out. Here's the before. And here's the after. I can't wait to hear what you think. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a like. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. You can also find me over at salvagedinspirations.com where I have over 500 furniture painting tutorials teaching you how to make your furniture beautiful. Until next time, have a fabulous week. Bye guys.